July 11, 1798, President John Adams signed an act of Congress into law for the establishment and organizing of a Marine Corps. Bring the Marines back. Now you're probably thinking, wait, <laughs> didn't the Marine Act of 1775 establish the Corps? Well, yes and no. The Marine Act of 1775 brought the Marines into existence, but they were only supposed to be temporary. Inside the document, it says, they'd be enlisted and commissioned to serve for and during the present war between Great Britain and the colonies, unless dismissed by order of Congress. So after the Treaty of Paris was signed on September 3rd, 1783, the Revolutionary War ended, and Great Britain recognized the United States' independence. Since the war was over, the Marines and the Continental Fleet were disbanded. Fifteen years later, however, the Marines were re-established in response to French privateers attacking American ships. Although November 10, 1775 is celebrated as the day the Corps was born, it wasn't until July 11, 1798 they became their own branch and have been winning America's battles ever since.